For the first time since 1986, vinyl records have been more profitable than CDs. Throughout its lifespan, vinyl has faced numerous challengers for the top spot for auditory medium, from cassettes to digital. So what about this retro medium is bringing them back to the forefront of people's speakers? According to the owner of Heavy Heads Record Store, Chris Grant, one of the key driving forces behind this resurgence is social media. I think social media is a big part of the vinyl resurgence because Back in the day, you could show your friends your record collection. Now you can show the world. Some are moving to vinyl because of the attraction to physical ownership of the music they listen to, such as Thomas Lausender. I've grown up my whole life, you know, Spotify, iTunes, buying a song for 99 cents, that whole thing, and, you know, having it on my phone, but I, I was going through my grandparents' basement one day and saw an old Victrola and these big old wax things that they put music on and I just kind of been enamored with the idea of like physical media. This sense of longing for physical media is not uncommon amongst the younger generations according to KSMU host and producer Randy Stewart. The younger people think it's they're just something really cool about, and there is something really cool about a 12 inch LP at least for the for no other reason than you've got something really solid large tangible to hold in your hand. Eric Milan, the owner of local record shops Stick It In Your Ears, says vinyl is something that listeners can make their own. Part of it is that now you're seeing the, fir the first generation of people where their parents didn't have records or CDs or anything. They literally downloaded everything, you know what I mean? From the late 90s to now, and now you've got 16-year-olds, 20-year-olds that their, their parents never had that stuff. So now it's it's a very personal thing for the, the younger generation. Like, this is my thing, not your thing. So what is the future of vinyl in the music industry? Will it continue to skyrocket in popularity, or is it just a phase? I don't think it's a trend. Um, I think vinyl's always been around. I, there have always been vinyl collectors, even when the CD uh, severely threatened uh, the vinyl business. There's still been record stores. So I think, um, you know, what I would like to say about that is that it's just like anything else. I mean, it's got its ups and downs, um, you know, but it's, we're on an uptick right now. Um, you know, it, I mean, just like any other market, we're going to have downward times too, but I, I don't necessarily view this uh, as just a trend that's going to come and go. I view it as... We're at a high point right now, and, and we're going to see where that takes us. So, For The Standard, I'm Lainey Sanders.